Okay. There are a lot of things that amaze me about the human race. Quite a few, in fact, that I find ridiculous. But hold on, let me turn this down a bit. Um, one. This belief that because we're young we feel nothing, that we never feel pain, that we can't fall in love, that nothing matters because we're young. And I mean, fair enough, we do have our whole lives in front of us, and most of the things that happen now we'll look back and be like, why did I care? But the point is, we do still have feelings, and even if we do fall in love and it isn't love, can you really tell someone that what they're feeling isn't real? Can you turn around and be like, oh, it's not love, it's fake, it's nothing? No, because even if it's not love, it's as close to love as they've got so far, and it matters. You, to tell them that it means nothing, is, I don't know, heartless. I don't know, it's not me personally, I mean in the sense of, I've heard it all the time to people, oh, she's too young to feel love. What's too young? What age do you become old enough to know what love is? Some people never feel love. Does that mean they were too young their whole life? Of course not, it just means they never found that person. Because the idea that there's someone out there for everyone is a lie, because that's someone out there for you. You might not be theirs. In fact, nine times out of ten, the person you love doesn't love you back. Maybe they like you, and... But they won't love you back, because that's life. Also, another thing, perhaps more with children, the fact that the moment you get into a relationship, you turn around and tell that person you love them, don't. Don't do it. Because using words so loosely that, loosely that have quite so much meaning can be really damaging to them in later life. And don't say it when you know you don't love them. Because it hurts quite a bit. That's... Well, I have to work on the subject of love. Love isn't worth talking about. Um, no, it is, but I just can't be asked with it. Um, human beings have this disgraceful habit of wanting to be better than each other. This is the whole reason that democracies tend to fall apart, and the idea that we can share everything. I can't remember what the fancy word for it is, but where everything gets shared out to everyone, where we all have earn an equal amount, where we all receive an equal amount of land, have an equal amount of items, each own the same things, and no one is rich, no one has this upper hierarchy, no one, it's a wonderful idea, but that's exactly what it is, an idea, because the human race, as we are, claim to be better than people, we're, com we're a competitive species, as much as we deny it. Anyone with siblings will understand what I'm going to say. If you and your sibling enter the same thing, you're going to want to be the better one. You're going to want to turn out. We enter competitions all the time. Our, my cat just threw something on the floor. We make an... Where the fuck did she throw that? Oh, I hate you. I'll deal with it later. Everything we do is a competition. From young, we grade our work to say, oh, this work is good, this work is bad. We're taught from a young age that to be the best is something we have to do, that we have to achieve this sort of point marker made by other people, that we have to follow in other people's footsteps and achieve something, that everything we do in life will affect the people who come after us, because of course they will then have to live up to it. If you go to school and you're told, I'm pretty sure at some point during your life in college and school, you are told, or during a performance or something, you're always told, you've set the pathway for those behind us, or set a good example for the people younger than you, because that's what everyone's living by. They live up to the example. No one has their own being anymore because they're following in footsteps of others. We can't create something new without people thinking you're strange or weird, or people judging you because you're different, because being different is a crime? But why? The human race is we're all so twisted and held on to these ideas of anyone who's different has a problem. Anyone who's upset is making it up for attention. Anyone with an eating disorder is making it up for attention. Anyone 
who does things differently is a freak and should be bullied for it. It's stupid. It's what we do. Anyone who's lesbian or gay is either doing it because it's cool or because they want attention or as a phase. Because it's because they can't love someone of the same sex? Why? What is so wrong with that? Is it not still love or like? Is it not still an attraction? Do you really have a right to say you're wrong for liking someone of the same sex? What makes it any different from liking someone of a different sex? They're still human. It's one thing to say, could you really argue the people, Christians especially, I have to direct this point to, could you really say to someone, God made Adam and Eve, but he didn't make Adam and Ben, or, or Lisa and Eve. But does that mean paedophilia is okay, because it's paedo if the paedophile is attracted to children of the opposite sex, does that make it alright? Because God never said anything about paedophilia, did he? No. Hearing about religions, how can you blindly follow something that has so many holes? I mean, I don't want to offend anyone here, but is that not a point? Just because God doesn't say it's bad, or God says it's bad, that makes it bad? So paedophilia is okay then? So the uh, attraction to someone, a child, so th that's alright because God didn't say it was bad? I mean, I'm going to get a load of hate for this video because I'm talking about very opinionated views and these are my opinions. These could all be wrong. These are just ideas and things I find to believe in. And nobody likes opinions. No one likes opinions. Everyone's opinions are things that they should get hated for because no one's allowed to think what they think. No one's allowed to believe what they believe without someone turning around and going, no, you can't believe this because believing this is wrong. I don't know, it just seems like we're all too conceited and stuck up our own asses. Like we're all too... I don't know how to say it, but we're... we've lost the ability to sort of accept other people's beliefs as what they are. Like Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on the door trying to convert people. Fair enough, believe what you want to believe, but why does everyone else have to believe it? Why do you feel it necessary to to force other people into your beliefs? Is it something that is now something we do? That you must believe what I believe? Why do we generate so many arguments? I mean, I've had arguments with one of my friends who is very, very opinionated and very set in his opinions. And I always sit there and think, by the end of it, I've accepted your opinion. I'm not arguing that I am definitely right, but you seem to have this belief that I am, that I don't believe that I could have a fault. Even though I'll admit that it's my opinion, but you won't. You seem stuck in this thick idea that you are right. And that even once proved wrong, you're still right. It's just seeing a different view. And that's the only way you accept that something's seen a different view. And there's no way you could possibly be right. And that, that there's something wrong with that. There's something deeply, deeply wrong with that. That we can't all just accept that we all believe things differently. That we all like different things. That we all... Different things... I don't know, of course I've been a crime to this as well, look how I react when people say they don't like Final Fantasy or don't like Converses, but I'm joking, I don't seriously hate someone for having a different opinion on something to me. That's why I never understand, homophobic people, why? You hate them because they like different people? Or people who say, um, I can't stand it when lesbians hit on me or gays hit on me because I'm not gay or I'm not lesbian, surely! Surely you realise that a lesbian hitting on you is just like, uh, for a girl, that a lesbian hitting on you if you're straight is just like a guy hitting on you that you don't like or have no interest in or some creepy guy who follows you around and you don't like him. Why does the fact that it's a girl hitting on you and you're a girl make such a massive point? It's just like someone you don't like hitting on you. Their sex is, a, is really not even important. It's not something that even matters. Yes, they're a lesbian, but so what? They're just someone you don't like. They're just someone you're not attracted to. Does it really matter that they're of the, op they're of the same sex as you? No, of course not. 
you're just making something to matter because it's different. Because being different is deemed as wrong for some reason or other. I don't know. I could run on for hours about this, but I guess anyone watching this now has probably already developed such a hatred for me because I have opinions that there isn't any point talking anymore because you've stopped listening. Because that's what people do. They hear what they want to hear and then they switch off because there's no point listening anymore because their ideas and ideals are what the world is made of. You know, I hate the human race for that reason. Maybe I'm just in a bad mood. Maybe... I don't know, lately it's come to my attention that we're all cunts, we're all bitches, we're all selfish, we're all hypocrites. And I can't stand it. I hate it, in fact. And I'm not denying that I've done things that are stupid. There's another one. Because you smoke, you think you're cool? Really? I think I'm cool because I light a cigarette every so often. No. I like the head buzz. I don't think I'm cool. I don't even smoke that often. That's what's worse. The moment someone turns around to me because there's a picture of me smoking someone goes, Oh, you think you're so cool? No. I don't even smoke properly. I smoke now and again for the head buzz. And when I say head buzz, I don't mean to look cool. I mean the feeling you get in your head when you don't smoke. The sort of light-headed stone feeling. Not because I want to fit in, or I want to be cool, or I want to belong to a group. Fuck it, you know what? I'd rather never belong to a group, because look around you. Do you really want to be a part of this? Do you really want to belong to some set group with opinions that you have to follow? The guidelines that you can't just live your life how you want it. Is that what you want? No. So be who you are. Love who you love, like who you like, believe what you want to believe, and just don't expect everyone to believe what you believe, and just be you. Don't try and fit in, because the thing about trying to fit in is you'll end up not fitting in. You'll end up hurting because you're trying so badly to be someone you're not. And I hate the fact that we feel the need to do it. We feel the need to force ourselves to be someone we're not. And this is going to cut off in a minute because it's a 12 minute long video and I've just talked for ages because it's something I felt I had to say. But that's it. So, um, bye everyone and have a nice life.